welcome to my channel please support my channel by subscribe i really appreciate it thank you they had uh, today you got started back um sunday school right all right, yeah. Yeah. All right so how many of you guys know <laughs> right so we're gonna have some homework today okay so this smoke alarm right here. i think i got four right if your house is upstairs and downstairs at a minimum you're gonna leave two right you live in a huge house like this guy apart, yes. right? Did you know once a month you should test your smoke alarm? Yes. Once a month, everybody say once a month. Yes. Once a month. Parents say once a month. Once, once a, a month. month. Once a month, you should test. Smoke alarm doesn't do anything. You get more battery. Man, right? <laughs> right? That's what you want to do. You want to take it down. If it doesn't work, the first thing you want to do is put a new battery in it, right? Put a new battery in it, and it should work. But what if you put a, a new battery in it and it doesn't work? What are you going to do then? Get another, get, right. another one. get another one. Now, somebody said something about a free smoke alarm, right? So I'm going to let you in on the secret. If you do not want to buy a smoke alarm, you can come by the fire station. We will give you one for free. Right here at Station 17. If you need two, there's a lot of fire stations that come. You'll see they smoke alarm on the kitchen table, right? You might see they smoke alarm on the floor, on, on the living room table, right? And we, we go we go on a lot of calls. We'll go to people's house because they're sick. And we go there and we'll be like, hey, man, put the smoke alarm on the kitchen table. Like, man, that thing was beeping. It was driving me crazy. Right? Look at that, right? We just said this is your first line of defense against a fire, okay? So we want to make sure that we test them once a month. So when something catches on fire, you're gonna get heat and you're gonna get smoke from what's burning. Yeah. Then you're gonna get the poisonous gases from all the stuff that's burning. So say if this room was on fire, like all of this stuff in here is burning, right? All of that nasty poisonous gases, right? Now we all know that smoke goes where? Up. Up, right? And we know, did you know this? It only takes two to three breaths of breathing in that smoke and poisonous gas and it can kill you, right? Yeah. Only two to three breaths. You know how many times you breathe a minute? 10 to 12 times. You're a little bit older, maybe 13 or 14, right? But only two, right? I have some kids say, well, my mama took my door off my bed, and took my door off my bed. <laughs> like, well, tell mom to put it back. We got to figure out another way, all right? But your bedroom door is like a bodyguard. So we talked about that heat, smoke, and poisonous gas, right? That bedroom door can protect you from that heat, smoke, and poisonous gas, all right? Now, the, uh, another question I get, well, what about the, the little crack under the door? Yeah, and smoke will come out of that crack on the door, the smoke is gonna go where first. Uh, yeah. And our smoke alarms work, but we test them. Yeah, you can go out, right? You wanna get out of the house, right? But what if you're in your room and you touch the back of that door, and touch that door at the back of your hand and that door is hot? Can you go out of that door? No. So your next exit will be where? If you can't go out the door, where else can you go out of? The window. window. All right, let's talk about your window for a second. How many people? Parents, don't go home, open the window, and put the screen down and say, bye. <laughs> right, don't do that. <clears throat> so then we're gonna have another conversation with our parents, right? Mm -hmm. We go out of this window, uh, something else. We talk about windows too. Your window is an exit, so we don't want anything blocking your window. Bed should not be in front of your window. It's an exit for you guys, and guess what it is for us? It's an entrance, right? Uh, yeah. Right. So we gotta come through that window. It's just gonna open that window. That door is your bodyguard, and you scream as loud as you can. You let people know you're in that window, right? <coughs> let people know you're in that window. Do not jump out of the window. Let us put the ladder up, and we will get you out of the window. You got it? Yeah. All right, so. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month, right? So I know you guys probably, you know, late on testing y'all, so we're going to say every fourth of the month, we're going to test our Come here and show me real quick. Let's show everybody. Come on, don't be scared. Come on. Oh, your shirt is on fire, right? You sure you want to stop dropping roll? You sure you don't just want to take off and run? <laughs> if you take off and run, what's gonna happen? It's the whole it's fire gonna be on fire. Fire loves oxygen, so it's gonna get bigger, right? So, show them the correct way to stop dropping roll. You are on fire right now. I'm gonna move away because you're hot. There you go. <laughs> Talk us through. You have to stop. Yeah, there you go. But you gotta finish it. <laughs> Alright, so now you good? You gotta drop. She good. She stopped. She dropped. 
But there's a couple things else you want to do, right? Another thing you want to do, everybody loves their face, right? Yes. Everybody thinks they have a beautiful face, right? Yes. And you guys do, right? You want to cover that face. So cover your face. <coughs> cover that beautiful face. Boom. Next thing you want to do is you want to cross your ankles. You know why you want to cross your ankles? I'm on fire going up and down your legs. Cross your ankles for me. Boom. Then you want to roll. Go ahead and roll. Oh, go the other way. Other way. It's dangerous. <laughs> All right. Good job. Everybody give a round of applause. Now leave, right? He's gonna put in his regulator. When he put his regulator in and he take a breath, you can hear him breathing the air out of his body. Alright, so this is when the sunlight is on and on. Now you have a speaker, he can talk, and you can hear him talk through the speaker. Go ahead and say something. Now it sounds like a Star Wars character, right? Yeah. So He's gonna come through, he's gonna give you a high five. High five, high five. High five. High five.
big building that's on fire, what are we going to do? All these dials and gauges, and you're like, okay, what is all this business? All these are is valves. You can't see them because they're behind this flat panel. But like, if we were to pull off this line right here, and we pull it off the truck, and we turn this handle, that means water's going to start flowing through that line. Does that make sense? No. That's really all this whole thing is. If I turn this big one right here, okay, it, it'll dump out uh, water out of a bigger line on the other side. And if I turn, I'm sorry. Oh, if I turn this one right here, there's a gun up there, basically a big old deck gun. It's like a water cannon and it'll shoot. And I don't know if any of y'all have ever drove by when we've been out here training, we can shoot that thing and it'll loft it like 200 foot in the air. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so, and it'll shoot a stream, I mean, it'll blow a hole in the side of the house. So, but anyway, all this is is valves, don't we? So nobody gets under the wheels, and we would have to take off, okay? So there's your question, what's your question? So how do you get up and ride it with the Access is too, like you can crawl up the back as well. Yep, you just shimmy. I know it looks cool though, no, with that American Pride sticker. I like it. Yeah. So if these lights are on, I can the. Can you come around and just cut the? Y'all let a firefighter show me. He's just gonna cut the lights on for y'all. And what'll happen is all these lights will light up. And that was my next. So that was awesome. You hit me at the right time. Okay, here we go. See them? Now that is not for Christmas. <laughs> it does look like Christmas lights though. All right, here we go. I want y'all to imagine so Who's got a great imagination here? You're all kids. You better have a good imagination. I want you to think big imagination. All right. Pretend none of this was here, okay? There's a big tank back here, and it holds 750 gallons of water. Now, y'all know what a gallon of milk looks like? Yeah. The big jug? Yeah. Think about 750 of those. Oh. All in one big tank behind all this. You can't see it. But to answer your question, if that's green, that, that means that that tank is completely full of water. But so when we show up to a house fire, we can pull a line off. We don't even have to hook to a fire hydrant. Who knows what a fire hydrant is on the side of the road. But they're all on. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then if it goes to red, we're only quarter. at a quarter of a tank. Very good. And then it'll start blinking at you. And then the end, it'll keep the battery <laughs> this group, who's been eating their uh, smart beans today? All right, so just so happens if we pull this off right here and hook it to a fire hydrant and cut it on, it goes right in here and it fills up that tank. The tank that you can't see. Does that make sense? All right, so what we'll do now as we're. Yes, just go through the police doors on the side. And
Station one, we was on I-20 fighting the fire, right? So, if you have 200 feet of this, you want to pump like 120 pounds of pressure, right? So we had one that was probably, it was on the front of the truck, and it was 100 foot long. So the guy was fighting a car fire on I-20. So we get in position, and the hose is only 100 foot, foot long, and guess what he pumped on? 120 pounds, right? So I'm a pretty big guy. I remember opening his hose up, and man, it turned me. Like, I was doing everything I could holding on to it, and it turned me, and I was spraying cars going down. I turned it down. Oh. House, like this fan right here, very powerful fan. And now something that we've learned before, we used to have uh, fans that ran off gas, but when we turn them in the house, they put more CO2 into the house. So now all our fans are electric, right? So now when we push it, we also push that. Two hours. And this is an electric fan, right? And all you do is just turn it on. It's very powerful. I'll put it on low. Uh, we have two of them. So if you have something that's red, you also need something that cuts. So these right here are the cut. So once you spread stuff, sometimes you gotta cut. So say if you're spreading the door. You can spread the door, but you need to cut the hinges to get the door off. Then we use this to cut the hinge. Like I said, they are heavy. If you come up and you can touch these, if you want to, you going to turn it on. I need to turn it on.